Usually when I upload a video, it's about a group of players I like or a group of players I don't like. But today, I want to mix it up a little. I'm going to put out a video on one player and do a very in-depth breakdown of him. And today's player is Reds pitcher TJ Antone. Who? So let's start in the beginning. Antone was a fifth-round pick for the Cincinnati Reds, and he made his debut on July 27th, 2020 against the Chicago Cubs. And he did pretty well that game, turning many heads in the organization and even Rizzo's. Uh, but this one's right over his melon. Antone would continue to pitch out of the Reds' bullpen that year, making four spot starts, finishing the year with a 2.8 ERA, securing him a spot for the 2021 season. So how good is he? Well, if you live in the OHIO, you know he's pretty damn good. However, not everyone lives there. So let me break it down. First, we have to talk about his pitch arsenal. And according to Fangraphs, Antone has the 22nd best slider, while also having the 14th best curveball, and owning a fastball that is league average. Mind you, he's on record saying that he just spent last offseason working on improving his fastball, and from what I've seen in spring training, he's definitely improving. Next we have to look at, is Antone going to start this year? And right now, I'm going to be honest, he looks like a lock for the Reds rotation. Last year, he wasn't accumulating a lot of fantasy points, mainly due to his role, which was kind of a long man in mop-up roles or in spot starts, which does eventually hurt him in fantasy value. But this year, he's come to spring training guns blazing, and he has dominated every time he's been on the bump. He's pitched very well against the Rockies and the Dodgers and against their actual starters. So... Seeing him in the rotation is a big boost to his fantasy value. And just looking at his ADP, you're probably wondering to yourself, wait a minute, this guy has three amazing pitches. This guy is dominating spring training. And he's a lock for a res rotation that is pretty good already. Why haven't I heard about him sooner? And why aren't more people talking about him? Well, here, let me break it down for you. Antone had to share a rotation with Trevor Bauer, Luis Castillo, and Sonny Gray. So it makes sense that when the national media came to cover the Reds, specifically their pitching, they weren't looking at TJ Antone despite the numbers he was putting up. And the Reds did not get a lot of national coverage themselves. They only played on five national games, two of which were playoff games where they got skunked by Atlanta. Mind you, TJ Antone did make the roster for the playoffs. He just never pitched in the playoffs. And when regarding Antone as a prospect, many didn't consider him to be a very good one. He was an older guy, age 26, coming off a major arm surgery, and because of that, many had written him off when looking at his stuff that was simply not the case. So to recap, we have a pitcher with three elite pitches, a locked spot in the rotation, and an ADP that is super high. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your prototypical sleeper pick. If you select him in this year's draft, you will not regret it. And if you have any other players you want me to break down, please write them in the comment section below.